We could survive that. We could survive that. We could survive that. Hello and welcome to We Could Survive That, your survival guide to the movies. My name is Jack and today I'm joined by a man who was once sent from the future back to the past to protect Justin Bieber. Yes, he's the reason why we had to endure baby, 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 ooh, over and over again. It's Chris. I stand by my decision <laughs> and my choice. If I had to do it again... I'd go back and do it again. A thousand times over. Long live Bieber! Son of a bitch. Crying! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's come out. I'm a Bieber fan. No. Nah, not really. I'm more into the heavy metal. Um, You're a one directioner. grunge. <laughs> You're well, a one I'm a, I'm a heavy metal one directioner. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Today's episode, time travel related, as was the time travel introduction. It's Terminator today. Yay! Yay! The Terminator is coming to play with us. Well, not Arnold's it's not, not going to end the happy. shed. Yeah, he's he not, is. He's not Mr. Here Schwarzenegger. In the shed. Come here. Jack thinks Danny Glover's better than you. He is clearly. No. <laughs> Danny Glover was in this film, and he was the Terminator. Then He'd there be would be no sequels. Would be. Did you know? Because Danny Glover would have sorted it out in the first one. <laughs> Interesting fact: They were contemplating O.J. Simpson playing the Terminator, but they didn't think he was threatening enough. And then a few years oh, later... <laughs> yeah, oh, we all know how that story ends. Oh, dear. They made the right choice with Arnold, who's just steroid and illegitimate children. Stop saying steroids <laughs> with Arnold. It's true. Yeah, he used him a bit, but other than that, oh. he's he's the mecca of bodybuilding. Right. Leave him alone. He's a great person. A wonderful but, human being that cheats yes. on his wife and... yeah. Oh, oh. yeah, okay. Right, we're Whatever. not here. We're not, not here, here to, to judge his moral. We're fiber. not here to talk about Arnold's personal life. We're here to talk about the Terminator. This is Chris's show. I pawned it off to the intern yet again. Stop calling me an intern. S- your senior intern now. Oh, oh, we've, I've moved up. You've moved up. So yeah, take it away, senior intern. I hate you for saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so like Jack said, we have got the Terminator today. Uh, 1984, directed by James Cameron. That guy that did Titanic. The guy that done Titanic. One. One. Not two. Apparently there is a Titanic two, but... Can't wait to see that. <laughs> I know. It must be such an insult to the original Titanic. It's probably terrible. Okay, then. We have a grand total of ten deaths that we're going to talk about. There are some more. The total body count in this film is actually 31. Oh, that'll be a long show. We did yeah. all 31. Yeah, 31 deaths. Whoever knows, maybe if you keep listening, there could be a anniversary episode in which we cover... All the deaths in a Terminator series, which actually adds up to just over three billion. It's go oh, because the because, nukes of, because of the nuclear war after <laughs> wow. uh, after Judgment Day. Uh, after Judgment Day, sorry. Yeah, it adds up to just over three billion. <laughs> <laughs> right then, let us begin. Death number one. You got the punks. Now one of these is played by Bill Paxton. Whoa, yeah. As we all know, he's famous for what, Jack? Being killed by a Terminator, a Predator, and an alien. And yeah. an alien, yeah. And an alien. He's the only actor who's killed by all three of these things. Yeah. Which means one thing. He always plays characters that suck. He's, he's not very good against alien future things. So yes, anything futuristic, Bill Paxton he's, cannot he's fight. Not, not got <laughs> good. He's not equipped to deal with. Not got good odds. He was in no, Titanic as well. Was he? So James Cam- yeah. Not, not on the boat when it sank he was part of like the present day people looking for it oh really I, yeah. I didn't notice that I never know what he looks like because I only ever see when he's films he changes every he's time he's a chameleon he looks totally different in this one because he's, he's quite a bit younger oh but fair yeah. enough right then he's about causing trouble because he's a hooligan he's a hooligan are we talking about Terminator now not Titanic yeah no I thought he was talking, Titan- talking about Titanic he was a hooligan in the Titanic right then so shortly after T-800 Terminator played by Mr. Schwarzenegger arrives in um, 1984 he lands uh, butt naked naturally oh, as clothes can't course. go for a time travel machine you know as that's common knowledge um, he w- comes upon these Doctor three Who would be a strange oh, TV show yeah, that can was you imagine strange. that uh, he comes upon these three punks as they're referred to but they've got their hair spiked up they've basically got the entire 80s punk thing going for yeah, them yeah, yeah. he walks up to them they start by taunting him by let's say like uh, you're naked, can... dude. Well, no. that, that sort of harsh burn. Yeah, you know, that sort of thing. They, he says, like, for example, no clothes wash day. Arnold Schwarzenegger's character repeats that, whatever. The T-800 then looks at him and says, give me your clothes. At which point, they all say, fuck you. Pull out. They all pull out switchblades. The T-800 knocks one over, or, well, 
pretty much backhands him, sends him flying, grabs the other one and throws him away. Now, Bill Paxson's character, I think it's Bill Paxson's character, I'm not 100% sure, stabs the T-800 in the um, side. Now, obviously, this is going to have no effect on him at all. So all he does, he um, pulls out the hand that uh, stabbed him with the knife and holds it up in the air. With his other hand, he punches the punk, I think it's through the chest, lifts him up off the ground, there's blood pouring down everywhere, and then drops him on the floor. He's dead, because obviously he's just had a hand punch through his chest. Yeah. He's um, not getting back up from that. Oh, hell no. He then, the Terminator then takes the clothes off one of the other punks he chucked down. Oh, dear. So that's how it happens. So basically gets punched through the chest, lifts up in the air, and then dies. Right. Pretty brutal. I know this probably wouldn't work, but there's there's three guys. Yes. And a naked guy walks up to you. Yes. And the naked guy is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. He's advertising the target I would go for. Because I'm a cowardly fighter. Giant man comes up to me, naked. Oh God. Demanding your clothes. Demanding my clothes. There's one place my foot is going first. All right. And that's in his soft, squishy bits. <laughs> so again, I, even that though, wouldn't work, though. Yeah, no, because he's a Terminator. I'd break my shin off something. <laughs> so my first move wouldn't work, and I'd, I'd be crippled. Yes. I'd be hopping about. But right. there's not much they can do with just knives. I mean, they could, like, peel the skin off but that that would just expose the true horror of what lies beneath Arnold's skin which is quite scary it is truly terrifying as we all know weird stop motion stop motion robot skeleton yes <laughs> interesting fact the scene when he's got the damaged eye and he's in the motel room um, repairing his eye all and quite the, terrible and uh, he's like pulling the stuff oh, yeah. out of stuff after filming that because they use a doll for that particular scene mm. Then after filming it, when Arnold had the makeup on with like the bit of the jawbone exposed with like the eye popped out and stuff, he had a break in filming and he went to a restaurant or into a um, small place of eating food to get something a to re- eat. A restaurant, yeah, you had it right the uh, first yeah. time. I don't know what happened there. To get something to eat and he forgot he had the makeup on and he went in there and people saw him and they panicked. <laughs> He's a crazy person. Because uh, they didn't... Re- they didn't I don't know how well Arnold Schwarzenegger was known. Probably not very. No, so happen. he walked in with this and they Although saw the Although he'd done Hercules, so that's... That's yeah, I suppose for him? maybe. <laughs> maybe. But they freaked anyway. Yeah. Um not. back to the original thing, what I would do. If I'd known it was a Terminator Which you wouldn't have. I wouldn't have known. So I probably would have stabbed him in the eye. You'd gone for the face. I would have gone through the face. Because if you can get through the eye to the bit behind, you might be able to just blind him or mess up his targeting system enough to escape. Yeah, but you'd still have the other one. So you'd have stab to him coordinate the other eye. You'd have to coordinate, coordinate your attacks. Because I think as soon as soon as you've jammed the knife into the metal you wouldn't be able to pull it back out and Arnold would grab and just crush your hand. So you'd have to coordinate your attacks with Bill Paxton or one of his other buddies. One of his other buddies. Or, in fact, after seeing two of my friends, one being thrown, you know, quite far with a single throw and the other one being knocked unconscious again of a hit. Run away? <laughs> just well, hit them, run away screaming? The back was to a locked gate. Uh, right. I want to try stabbing that, that big-ass guy that's just chucked two of my friends across the thing. I would have been like, fuck this. And just literally run around him and legged it. Or run over to one of my friends who was on the floor and stripped him and be like, take his clothes. Take his clothes immediately. You just could have gone, I'm, I'm not your size, mate. Oh, yeah. I'm not your size clothes. Oh, he didn't need to kill Billy Paxton because if it wasn't his clothes, he was going after. It's a Terminator. He's designed to kill humans. But not Bill. Well, he done it. Right? Oh. Yeah, that's what he does. So I would either stabbed in the eye or stripped one of my friends off. If you and me had been in that situation, I would have held you down and stripped you off. You would have held the your, Terminator. gave your clothes to Arnold. Make me nutty. Yes. Some friend you are. <laughs> well, I'm ensuring our survival. Then I would have stabbed him and legged it and he would have come after you. Why? I didn't stab him. No, but he's a Terminator. I'm mm. surprised he let the other two live. Um, he could have killed them for all I well, know. Well, they were just incapacitated and they weren't going to mess with him after seeing him stick his fist through someone else's chest. Yeah, that's true. Maybe he had like certain programs not to kill as loads and loads of people so he could draw minimal attention to himself yeah that before finding best. Sarah Connor and then just causing Got as much m- chaos spree, yeah. to get his target as possible but, but yeah tricky situation had he killed Sarah Connor Skynet would have failed okay because are we going into weird time travel paradoxes thing this early I just want to go re- on go really on. quickly cover this right yeah okay kill Sarah Connor John Connor's never born is no resistance yeah paradox. Skynet would never be created because at the end scene where Sarah Connor crushes the Terminator, we will get onto that. That factory is owned by the company, which would later become Skynet. Yes. Which is why when they find it, they store it, and yeah. then and Skynet is born from the Terminator arm and the chip that they recover from him. 
So had he killed Sarah Connor then and not gone to the factory, they probably wouldn't have found him. Like he probably would have had instructions to either, I don't know, maybe shut down somewhere, hide in a cave. Yeah, and Skynet would have never been created in the first place. Well, that also brings up why didn't they go back and kill Sarah Connor as a baby, or Sarah Connor's granddad, or Sarah Connor's great great granddad? Maybe they couldn't go that far back. There could be like limits on how far they can send something back. Well, how far? They go from the year twenty twenty nine to the year 1984 do they have hoverboards not in 2029 no no the only thing they've got that's futuristic is the terminators and like the plasma the way rifles laser things yeah but okay. there we go in anyway the, in the time because you know the time travel thing machine only sends back organic matter yeah you're gonna ask how it sent back the terminator right yeah it covers it in skin yeah. why doesn't it just send back an empty skin so because just covering something it's like a metal detector if I cover something in plastic, the metal detector's still going to pick it up. No, if you cover it in lead, it won't. Yeah, but human skin isn't lead. Yeah, but we don't know how Does human skin... Does it work skin... the same as... The time machine work the same as... But the skin that's on the Terminator, it's organic skin, it's living, yeah? Right, yeah. But what's to say they've not added something to it to trick the, the time machine? Well, could they do that, but with... A gun. A gun or a really big bomb. That's what I was thinking. Probably could have, but it would have ended the story too soon. A skin bag. <laughs> I don't know. Let's find Jam- J- J- James-, uh, James Cameron and ask him. I'll-, I'll see if I can find him on Twitter and we'll send him a tweet asking that specific question. The Terminators are not making best use of this time travel. No, and the fact they only send one back, back one Terminator. Here's another thing. They send back the one Terminator and after Carl Reese goes through, the Resistance destroys it. So how, so how do they send everything in back in two, two, three? Yeah. Oh, they must have found another time machine or rebuilt it. There's a lot of unanswered questions in Terminator. It's all a bit far-fetched, really. Yeah, so uh, it's very unlikely to happen. Isn't that right, Arnold? Yes, it is. Oh, God, that's terrible. Terrible. No, I messed that up. Move on to the right, second death. Um, second death is the death of the gun shop owner, who is played by Dick Miller. No idea who he is, but got his name anyway. <laughs> Basically, the T-800 goes into a gun shop after acquiring the clothes of a punk. He's asking for different guns off the counter. The gun shop owner's getting them off, putting them on a the counter. T-800 is, you know, he's cocking them, he's testing the sights, etc., etc. He asks for a plasma rifle, and a gun shop owner's like, hey, buddy, just what you see on the shelves. So he's like, whatever. So he asks who's Uzi. He puts her down. He checks them all out. He's like, I'll take them all. The gun shop owner makes a joke about, well, I am guess I'm closing early today. Turns around to... I You're don't know what closing permanently. That's a good one-liner. Did he use that line? No, he didn't. I don't think the Terminators understand sarcasm. But um, but that wasn't sarcasm really. That was the truth. Um, irony, maybe. I don't know. Great one liner. Yeah, great one liner. Brilliant one liner. But anyway, so the gun shop owner turns around to get whatever some forms, and he's saying about the weights on the different guns and stuff. Mm. Well, Terminator wouldn't have had to put up with all these weights if they'd just given him a skin bag full of future weapons. That is true, but for whatever reason, they didn't think to do that. They could have saved money as well. Skynet on budgeting. He didn't buy the guns. War's not cheap. He didn't buy the guns. Here's what happened. As a gun shop owner turns around, Arnold's holding a shotgun. There's ammo. There's boxes and boxes of ammo on the counter. Luckily, these are this shotgun shop shells. This is not managed well at all. It is not. <laughs> but luck- luckily, these are shotgun shells which fit the shotgun that Arnold has. So he loads up one, cocks it. The gun shop owner turns around and says, Hey, you can't do that. And then I believe the Terminator says, Wrong. And then fires it and just shoots him. Dead. And yeah, that was that. Okay, they need better health and safety in this shop don't put the ammo on the counter it's not sweets don't put it there especially when you just handed the gun yeah fully operational gun that a person obviously knows how to use in front next to the ammo exactly so he needs retraining unless he owns the shop in which case health and safety need to shut him down perhaps they just don't have gun shops altogether Ooh. oh but yeah, he yeah. needs he <laughs> needs locks on on his cabinets and stuff, and just leave them hanging up. Yeah, but here's the thing: as just well, write down a list. The shelves behind him, there's no locks on them. He's like he's just picking them off the shelf and putting them on the counter. He must be robbed so Anybody many can times. Reach over. I don't know. Would you try and rub a gun shop? Really? Because listen, well, he I'm doesn't seem sure. very prepared, does no, he? No, I suppose not. But I'm pretty sure a gun shop owner will have a loaded gun on hand, ready. Yes to use yeah. I'd be surprised if a gun shop owner did not have a gun ready to use or a baseball bat or, or some some sort of defence weapon yeah anything do you know what I would have done followed health and safety yeah not had the ammo there See? or as soon as I heard him load it up yeah. and cock it I would have spun around knocked the gun out of his hand I would have dropped to the floor 
pushed a panic alarm and crawled around while he's it's trying to shoot me. Bloody Terminator! Grabbed, he'd grabbed shoot a gun, you. grabbed a gun while he's like shooting because I'm hidden at the mo. I'm right. hidden, so he's shooting where he thinks I am, and then I pop up with an elephant gun, which are giant hunting rifles. Should the I tell you bullets like explode heads and stuff? And I would have just shot him in the head with that. Should I tell you why that won't work? Why? It's the a perfect terminate. The terminators have tracking systems. Like sort of like a predator's thermal no, camera and stuff. I'll, I'll get on. Can he see through walls? No. So I could theoretically sneak behind and pull out a large elephant. If you disabled gun his tracking system, yes. But he couldn't see me because I'm hidden and he's not got. He can't see, see the cop, eyes. but he still kills him. I let. What we get on to? I'll, I'll explain what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I would have um as he caught the gun, I would have spun round, flipped it out of his hand so it lands in mine, right? Because he would have been unprepared. Blasting him he's in the a face. Terminator. He's got an and iron grip. He Literally, would. he's probably made of iron. He wouldn't be holding right now. He's I, the he's original not made iron, iron man. <laughs> I would have flipped it out of his hands, caught it, fired it into his face, and would have been like, "Yo, you're terminated." And at which point, I would have seen the robot on him and been like, "Oh my god, <laughs> oh my it's a no. machine!" I would then turn and just run out the shop. He must have a panic room. I would have a panic room if I had a gun shop. We Something should have I could had a hide him. Button. But yeah, the sensible way to survive this is just to follow health and safety. Not, Not leave guns around on the counter next to ammo. With a gun that, yeah, that can silly, use. Silly, come on. Silly man. Oh, especially we're going, hey, you can't do that. What? The person just caught the gun is aiming at just you. Just waggling his finger at yeah. him. Don't do Don't that. Don't do that. That's naughty, very naughty. naughty, yes. Oh, well, you know what he should have done. Sense now. He should have a taser. He should have grabbed it and tased him. Because you don't know, it could have interfered with his like circuiting massively. I, would they have had tasers in the eighties? Maybe not. Oh, uh, good question. Actually, I don't know if they had tasers in the eighties. Maybe a car battery. Car battery. <laughs> <laughs> Just stapled it to his ears. Maybe that would have worked. But anyway, uh, carry on. Okay, moving on. Death number three is the wrong Sarah Connor death. The Terminator has got the phone book. And is basically just going through all of Sarah Connor's in it. Because he doesn't have any... Because Google wasn't invented back then. Well, they've got no pictures of what Sarah Connor looks like. And yeah, there was no Google. <laughs> but obviously, they don't... Skynet has no information on what Sarah Connor looks like. Only her date of birth, where she's living, ex- age, etc. So what happens is a Terminator gets a phone book. And he just finds all the Sarah Connors and works his way through the list. This whole film could have been prevented if Sarah Connor wasn't registered in the phone book. <laughs> And the Terminator yeah, would have had no screwed, way um, to find her. But yeah, he's walking through it. This is like the third or fourth Sarah Connor. I'm not entirely sure which one he comes across. But he knocks on the front door, okay? Pulls up outside in the car, knocks on the front door. She opens the door a little bit. She's got on the chain. He says, Sarah Connor. And she goes, yes. At which point he pushes the door open, breaks the chain because you know he's a Terminator. Holds the gun up to her head with his laser sight on it. She stands there for about three, possibly four seconds. Before he then shoots her straight in the head. She falls down dead. He then walks up to her and proceeds to shoot her another, uh, I do believe it is, five times in the back while she's on the ground. Thus ending her existence. Does she not have a peephole in the door? I didn't look for one, to well, be honest. Well, get a peephole. Right. Have a sticker saying no cold callers as well. That's, I know. that's not related to this. It's just good practice. I have one of them. Does it work? Well, we don't get people selling stuff, so yeah. <laughs> So yeah, top tip, no cold calling stickers. Doesn't prevent Terminators. Maybe get a no Terminator sticker and get one of them. No assassination but attempt yeah. stickers. Uh, as soon as she doesn't recognise him, I would back up. Because he's at this point, he's still wearing the shades and the dark leathery, he's creepy not wearing punk shades, outfit. He's but not he's wearing got the shades. punk outfit on. Yeah. Right. So if he looks suspicious, he probably is suspicious has he got any of the guns, or is he just carrying a handgun? He's got the pistol, but it's underneath his jacket at the moment. Okay. So where's where's he hiding the shotgun? Well, he's stuff? got a car outside, so I'm assuming the guns are all in there. But it's a big, like, family car. Ah, uh, so he yeah, I wouldn't him. say it right. Um, not a suspicious car at all. Not a suspicious one. <laughs> no. Well, suspicious person, not a suspicious car, equals suspicious. Double suspicious. Double suspicion. So, double suspicion equals don't open the door, pretend you're not home. And then if he kicks in the door, climb out a window and run away. Do you know what I would have done? Something incredible. Lee, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> as, well, as soon as he raised... As soon as I'd... Because he knocks the door open, right? 
and then he pulls his jacket back and pulls the gun out, then aims at her head for about three to four seconds before well, is firing. Well, is it in slow motion? Or... It is a bit slow motion-y, but not massively. As soon as I'd seen him pulling his jacket back, I would have kind of fucking legged it. No, you would have gone, hmm, stripper grab. <laughs> <laughs> What's this I see, big hunky fella? What have you got, big man? Oh, is that for me? Bang! Yes, it is. No, I... I <laughs> so many bad Arnold impressions yeah, I know, today. It's terrible. Um, I would have legged it. Or as soon as I opened the door and as somebody said, was looking quite menacing, and said, Sarah Garner, I'd have been like, no! <laughs> I, I, would, I would have assumed he was trying to sell me something. So I'd go, no, Sarah's not lived here for five years. But she's she died dead. in that chair over there. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. And then I close the door. You pretend to be a crazy person. Oh, I would, I would have to be batshit loopy. And um, I hope the Terminator doesn't register anything suspicious. He's not going to know about human, human intera- interactions, no, human actions, what they mean and stuff, like doing that. Oh, okay. I would have faked well, that, who I that was. That might have worked then if it... Because, yeah, because if they've not got all the information on Sarah Connor, you exactly. could so probably as far trick as he's him. Cons- uh, yeah, as far as he's concerned, I've just confirmed that Sarah Connor... How at this does he even died. know that Sarah Connor's a woman? Can he tell the difference between men and women? Yes, I think that's programmed in. All right, okay. He knows he's looking for a female. Oh, okay. Oh, so that narrows down. Yeah. The search. He just doesn't know what she looks like, that's all. So as soon as you said Sarah Connor, I'd be like, nope, nope, never heard of her, mate. But uh, she'll be about two blocks down, you're one over. Name's Frank, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> May look like a woman, but I look like this. In the of a sex change, buddy. What the fuck do you want? Did they have sex changes in the 80s? Probably not. Oh, no. Got my voice broke then. <laughs> <laughs> it was well weird. <laughs> so that's how I survive. I would trick the Terminator no, by yeah, using Frank, good, my alter ego. Good plan. Good Name's plan. Name's Frank. Who, who else is on this death list of the Terminators? Okay, we, next we who got... Who else is on his war path? <laughs> his war path. Okay, we have Matt Buchan, played by a guy called... Rick Rozovich. I've not heard of Rick Rozovich. Nope, never have I. No. I've not heard of him <laughs> since then, but he was in the Terminator film. Now, he is the boyfriend of a character called Ginger. Ginger being the... Roommate of Sarah Connor. Yes, that's it. Yeah, the roommate of Sarah Connor. So now the Terminator the arrives proper at... The Sarah Connor. The real Sarah Connor. The real the, one. Uh, the mother of the resistance fighter. Who is probably a Terminator in Genesis. Yeah, they gave that away. I don't know what is going on with that. No. But we'll go. We'll save that. We'll save the the confusion for next week. So, anyway, um, the Terminator finally gets the right address after, you know, trial and error. And um, the funny thing is, he's killing these other Sarah Connors, but he doesn't know whether they're the real one. So, even if he he killed this Sarah Connor, he would have then continued on to the next one. Yeah, just wiping them all out. Yeah, that was pretty much his, his thing. Now Sarah's not in at the moment. Um, Please leave a out. message after the after turn. The tone. Um, she's out. Ginger and her boyfriend are in. Now Ginger after and her boyfriend have just had an intimate moment, and she goes up to get food, and she makes loads of food. She gets a massive glass of milk, and the sandwich she makes is like the size of my head. It's ridiculous. It looks so good though. What was in the salad? No sandwich. Oh, what was in the sandwich? I don't know. It was everything. No, so was much. Was there salad in the sandwich? There was salad. There was meat. I don't know. It looks incredible. I don't know if it's for both of them or just for her, but it made me hungry watching it. Anyway, Terminator enters. I couldn't. I can't remember the exact scene of this, but somehow the Terminator ends up in the bedroom with Matt. At which point, Matt, you know, he tries to jump the Terminator and have a bit of a scuffle. Doesn't have. At one point, he it picks up a lamp. Go Matt's way, will it? Even no. with lamp. Yeah, he grabs a lamp and tries to hit the Terminator. Doesn't work. Nah. Cuts to Ginger walking towards the uh, bedroom. The bedroom door smashes open. Matt falls out uh, dead. He's covered in blood. Um, she screams and drops her stuff and a Terminator steps out. Straight away, do not engage in hand-to-hand combat with a Terminator unless you yourself are a Terminator that is self-aware. Like what happens in um, uh, Terminator Salvation with Sam Worthington's character. Not saying that. No, or basically in that spoilers if you've not se- if you've not seen it already. It's, it's spoiled your own in fault. the trailer though. I do I do know about it because they spoil they spoil everything in the Terminator trailers. They do. They They're have a long history of that. They spoil Arnold being a good guy in the in Terminator Two. Yeah. They spoil Salvation's twist in in Salvation. <laughs> in Salvation, <laughs> and yeah. They've ruined. Well, they've said they've got other twists in store. For Genesis, but they've spoiled that with um, John Connor being a weird Terminator thingy. 
human terminator hybrid an improved version of whatever sam worthington's terminator hybrid thing was yeah i don't know yeah i don't know i'm not heavily invested in the terminator franchise so i oh i'll be honest i don't really care (laughs) (laughs) well we'll find out next week when we watch it won't we yes but anyway um so yeah what would you do double team okay this guy i'd go hey ginger and she doesn't answer because she's got headphones on oh yeah uh, yeah so she's got headphones on i then run into the kitchen and go hey ginger there's a creepy guy in there call your other spice girl friends scary and baby spice and posh spice i know she's not a spice girl that's a <laughs> seriously outdated 90s joke <sighs> the 90s i don't even know what the anyway, hell you're talking <laughs> about but <laughs> right fine. so ran into the kitchen where there would have been like a knife and and maybe a rolling pin so i could i could smash them about a bit and then ginger's there so i've got a friend to when i'm trying got to beat a him up in, in you exactly so when or i'm trying need. to beat him up from the front she can run around jump on his back and start hitting him with a rolling pin or a baseball bat or or something something heavy so two heads are better than one it would probably still end in tears but, but you'd you buy might yourself last extra time a bit longer or maybe out? ginger could have called the police in that time yeah maybe maybe i don't think it would have saved her no, but at least the police would be aware that there's a robot about. Yeah, okay, possibly. To be honest, if I was in bed after just doing the da- the uh, dirty dance and some guy You'd broke in... You'd be asleep. I'd be asleep, so... He you wouldn't would take, have stood a chance. He, it, no, he wouldn't have probably ignored me. Because why would he shoot me? He's got no reason. I'm not a threat. He let those two other punks You're leave. a witness, though. No, I'm not. I'm asleep. Okay, so you sleep through this whole I thing. I sleep through it. He and then he sneaks out. He sneaks out and goes on and kills Ginger. Oh, okay. I hear so her screaming you're... and then I go, "Not now." I'm sleeping. I got the phone actually, Ginger. I'm expecting a call from Frank. <laughs> hey, hey, Matt. Hey, Frank Matt. here. I had a Frank weird. Here. I had a weird meeting with this guy. Some guy turned up kept asking for Sarah Connor. But yeah, that's pretty much what I done. Slept through the entire thing. Okay. <laughs> and survived it. Being a bad boyfriend or, pays off or by surviving not, Terminator attacks. No, nah, it's not being a bad boyfriend. It's, it's being a terrible boy. No, you've fallen asleep because you're exhausted because it was such a good, dirty dance you'd done. Maybe it wasn't. That's why she's making a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> just weren't putting just enough more, effort no. in. Or I would have got the lamp, smashed the bulb, and jabbed it into him while it's plugged into the mains and electrocuted him. Because in my mind, that would have worked. Yeah. Is is the Terminator ever electrocuted? Could do we see its effects? Well, problem is when it comes through the um portal, um like the time machine, there's ele- there's bits of electricity going around and stuff. Does it really so damage it? So might not affect it. No, I mean like when Kyle Reese <laughs> comes through the the time traveling teleporting whatever machine, he has burn marks on his skin. Right. Okay. So it burns him stuff. So yeah, I think they're um electrical burns. So. I don't, maybe electrocuting wouldn't work. Right. Okay. I'd give it a shot anyway. Then we go into Ginger's death. So um, she's coming back to the room. She sees her boyfriend smashes through the door. She just turns and legs it, basically. Yeah. And we have what happens to Sarah Connor. The wrong Sarah Connor. Sort of. Sh- shot. Why does she he use shot. the gun in the fight then with Matt, the boyfriend? Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe he just wanted to beat somebody up with a fist. But he shoots Ginger in the back and then shoots her several more times while she's trying to crawl away. Well, he's not even after she's Sarah Connor. No. Yeah, what the hell? He and just, doesn't the phone just directory tell her tell the Terminator that there are two people living there? No, because he's looking at Sarah Connor, so it just gives the address of Sarah Connor. If you looked for Ginger, whatever her name was, it would have given the same address. And yeah. Might have clicked. What, um, what information did you say that the Terminator had on her? Just age? Pretty much everything bar height. a picture. Did it have hair colour? No. It had no description of her, and it didn't have where she worked. All right, okay. I was going to say, if... if had basic information like I think hair colour then yeah, why shoot Ginger I think he had age and stuff though but Ginger's about the same age I'm assuming Ginger's called Ginger because of her hair she's not Ginger what colour hair does she have then black dark brown more black why is she called Ginger though I don't know Ginger's That's a name isn't it name. is Ginger's right. a name okay sorry whatever about that. go on personally I would have just ran faster with my bulletproof vest on no, you wouldn't have a bulletproof vest. Actually, dear sir, if there'd been a... Because it reports on the news that there's been a spat of murders, or spate so of murders, So you would have got sorry. a bulletproof vest just in case. Well, no, but the, it says the murderers all seem to be targeting women called Sarah Connor. Ginger even warned Sarah about this, saying, oh, watch out, there's somebody on the news killing Sarah Connors. 
I would have beefed so up home defence immediately. So why would have had to worry? Because she's not a Sarah Connor. Yeah, but Connor. I would have beefed up... Yeah, but the murder's been happening in the I Sarah Connor's I think that's Connor's why the home. boyfriend's there for security. I don't care. I would have beefed up home security because it even says the murders have been taking place in the in the homes of the people. So I would have beefed up home security. Thus, I would have been wearing a stab-proof, bulletproof, fireproof, and radioactive bomb Bomb-proof vest. <laughs> yes. Every Common sense. proof vest in the world. Okay, we got nightclub dancers. This is when Sarah Connor, the proper Sarah Connor, is hiding in a nightclub. Um, Has she, she heard about Ginger's death at this no, point? No, not at this point. Okay. But she's panicking because she's seen Kyle Reese following her and she thinks he's possibly once killing the Sarah Connors. Right, okay, yeah. So she, she calls the police to tell her to go into a cr- crowded area and then a patrol car will come and collect her. Okay. Um, that's she's smart, that's smart. Crowded area, lots of witnesses. Yeah. Not going to stop a Terminator, but still. So in she goes. Kyle Reese follows her in. He's watching her. She's sort of sitting there. The Terminator shows up. The bouncer tries to stop him. He like breaks the bouncer's hand. In he goes. Kyrie sees the Terminator. Clocks that's what clocks it's the Terminator. Pulls out a shotgun and shoots the T eight hundred as he's getting a gun out to shoot Sarah Connor. Oh. Okay. So he's quick on the draw. He, he is very quick on the draw. Good. Interesting little fact. When he gets a shotgun, he saws off the um, what's it called? The bit that you'd put the into barrel. your shoulder. No. The part stand. of the handle. Basically, just saws off everything to make it smaller, right? And then uses a bit of rope to um, tie it round so he can hang off his shoulder. He is taught that trick in Terminator Salvation by John Connor. Yeah? I did no payoff for me. I've not no, seen but whatever. Film. But whatever. Anyway, he shoots the Terminator. The Terminator gets up. Goes to shoot Kyle Reese with an Uzi. Kyle Reese dies behind this guy who gets his chest like ripped to shreds by this Uzi. Nice. And th- this guy's meant to be the hero using people as human shields. Well done, Kyle. Well done. And the Terminator then tries to shoot Sarah Connor. Bad shot on this as well. Well, actually, lucky for Sarah Connor, a woman like runs behind her trying to get him. So he ends up hitting the woman, who then falls on Sarah oh. Connor. So the first one was Reese diving. Am I meant to be rooting someone. for the humans in this or the Terminator? I don't know. He's trying so hard, bless him. And the second one's just playing on lucky. Oh yeah, okay. But then. off you go. No, I'm not happy with these guys. Bouncers, one. How many bouncers were on the door? Just the one. One. At least have two bouncers on the door. They wouldn't have stopped a Terminator. Well. When the first one gets his hand broken, the second one could have radioed in for police backup and stuff. I don't think bouncers have radios straight to the police. They should do. Well, they've got, like, communications with, like, other bouncers and stuff. So they could have gone... This is the 80s, don't forget. Yeah, they got radios. That's all they... They loved walkie-talkies in the 80s. They thought they were awesome. Right, yeah. So, yeah, have walkie-talkies to the police and maybe other bouncer friends along, like, the nightclub strip so you could get get your friends over maybe they what? could organize maybe they could organize posse. some of the a uh, posse yeah to and they could have could have taken the terminator down yeah vigilante justice okay so you would have mob you, mob power yeah, so you would have survived by hoping there was better door staff yes and an angry mob of drunk people terrible. what more do you need terrible terrible i'm sure the bouncers or at least someone in the club would have had a gun or something as well. Maybe. Or maybe the bar staff would have a have a gun or a baseball bat stored under the um bar just in case. So mob just get the pitchforks out and the flaming torches. That's what you need to stop a Terminator. Angry mob. I would like to see that. I would like to see them try and stop or, a Terminator. Right. Maybe if there were less bouncers, the um No, <laughs> don't look at me like that. Maybe Less well, bouncers. There's only one, so less bouncers no, would be none. No, less bouncers along that whole strip. I'm imagining there's like loads of cl- nightclubs, but less bouncers. The um people there would be more rowdy because there's no one telling them what to do. And then as soon as all this kicked off, they'd be like, "Oh, riot!" and they'd go for the Terminator, and all hell would break loose. So less security, That's a theory, more angry people. Beats y- you'd Terminator. You think they'd all jump on the Terminator yeah. to try and disarm him? Yes. And he would throw every single one of them off. No, because there's loads of them and they like jump on him. And Terminators, they're not invincible. If you pound them enough, they will break eventually. I'm thinking a hundred people all jumping on him would be enough. They'd crush each other. To And the Terminator. Oh, so you want these people to kill themselves to stop the Terminator. Well, they'd get like injuries and stuff. But as soon as, as, soon as he is on the ground, he's at their mercy. There's no getting up from that. Okay, alternatively, here's what I would have done. I would have... Mm, okay, the first one. 
uh, the guy that gets shot in the chest. Well, Kyle Reese goes to dive behind me. I would have gone, fuck no. Turn around, grab, grab Kyle Don't Reese run and thrown him out. Crossfire. Yeah, but Kyle, like Kyle Reese ran towards him. Ran towards the guy running. And jumps, dies behind him. In fact, I would have just danced around the bullets. He would have sprayed his machine gun and I would have been like, bah, um, bah, um, bah, um, as I just danced around the bullets. Your impression of 80s dance music. Yes, and that it's probably was spot terrible. on. It was spot on. Second one, I would have been more vigilant. Look at the Terminator. He's aiming for Sarah Connor. Don't then run in front of her. <laughs> oh, why did you run in front of her? Yes, you had because your back to them. Because the screenwriters told her to. That's why. Well, ignore the screenwriters and you will live. Create your own destinies in the movies. That is true. I would oh. keep extra vigilance to see who he's aiming for. When you realise he's targeting certain people, off your trot out in the opposite direction. Also, all the nightclubbers run towards the front entrance to get out. They don't know a fire exit in there. There's another They probably way don't out. know where it is. It's probably not labelled very well. Okay, so better health and safety as well. Exactly. Come on, people from the 80s. What's wrong with you? It is. A lot of this could have been avoided. Well, two of them. <laughs> well, two of them. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. The classic line, I'll be back. Spoken by Mr. Schwarzenegger as a T-800. In every movie from this point on. <laughs> oh, yes. Every time in that movie, we should probably say. Do you know, um, just every movie Schwarzenegger's been in. He's not Expendables. Last Action Hero. Maybe Predator. I don't know all of his films. Maybe Twins. <laughs> Maybe the one where he's pregnant. Oh, well, <laughs> Maybe well, that one. I'll be back with Maybe my Maybe Junior. Bear bear. But exactly. Anyway, so this is the classic scene where that line comes from where uh, Sarah, Sarah Connor and Kyle Reese from the police station Reese under arrest Sarah under protective custody uh, the Terminator turns up asks for Sarah Connor the desk sergeant says no you got a book or appointment or whatever it is he says I'll be back goes back out gets his car drives it through the front of the police station and crushes the cop sitting behind the desk he's a terrible parker is the Terminator well <laughs> there's another interesting thing you should say terrible parker they cut this from the movie Originally, before the time I stole his car, he was meant to see a woman get into a car. He was meant to scare her. She would panic, get into a car, reverse it, hit a bollard behind her, and then drive off. And then when a Terminator gets into a car, he was going to mimic her moves and purposely hit the bollard behind her because that's how he thought you'd start a car by driving. <laughs> but they cut that from the movie. That's understandable because that would have made the Terminator look like an idiot. <laughs> an absolute tit. Yeah. Using the car as a weapon. Okay. The desk sergeant, what's he doing? He's filling out paperwork yeah. at this point. This guy's suspicious again, okay? He's wearing the glasses at this point, I know this. He's it wearing is. the glasses and yes. the leathers and stuff. So watch him go away. Keep an eye on him. Keep your beady little eyes on him. When you see him accelerating to the window, smash through, dive out the way. You say about being suspicious... If you've got somebody in protective custody and somebody's coming asking for them... Yeah. Take a name, maybe an address. I know he doesn't have an address, but when he says, I have no address... That's such oh, an alarm very bell's suspicious. He, he's a police officer. He's paid to be suspicious. Do your job. Well, he was doing his job. He's doing <sighs> the paperwork. He obviously wasn't doing it very well. Uh, he was probably doing been... the crossword. He probably wasn't, yeah, even, wasn't doing even doing his, real paperwork. His proper work. Dearie me. So yeah, extra suspicious. Agree? Disagree? No, I completely agree with that. Tremendous. Okay, so the next thing that happens is directly after the scene of the cop being killed at the reception desk is basically the attack on the police station by the T-800. Yeah. Um, so w- did any of the police hear the car? Oh yeah, they, yeah, they all hit. draw their guns. So they were all, all on high go. alert. Oh yeah, they're point. all good right. to go. Do they have an armory in the station? Um, There are scenes where a couple of them grabbing big ass machine guns, so they grab something, yeah. Okay. But the T-800 walks through with a shotgun and machine gun, blasting everyone to smithereens. Now, including the cop at the reception, recep, uh, reception desk, wow, um, he kills a total of 12 people, however, that are on screen. Terminator 2, it's stated he killed a total of 17. Someone obviously wasn't counting. Well, well, no, so there's other deaths that happened off screen, but I'm guessing they died in similar manners. Two of the main-ish characters get killed in this scene as well, who are two police officers, uh, Ed and Hal. Uh, not Hal. Not Hal. Not the well-liked Hal guy. They were both looking after Sa- or looking for Sarah Connor. Well, they weren't doing a very good job of looking after Well, it, uh, evidently not. There. Yeah, so the T-800 walks through, blasting these police officers to shreds. And now, this is what you're saying about the targeting system. One police officer fires at the Terminator and then has to reload. So the Terminator raises his machine gun. The police officer then turns and runs from the doorway behind this wall. 
and the tracking system comes up on the Terminator and tracks him through the wall and pinpoints where he would be. The Terminator then fires at that point in the wall and kills the police officer. So it can't see through walls? No, but it has like so a... So if he'd run crouching, but the Terminator, the Terminator the, couldn't have... Well, no, the Terminator would have seen how he turned to run and then it must have some sort of algorithm that plans well, basically it, tells it where no, it's going to be. If he'd turned and then crouched and ran... Terminator would have been hear his, his footsteps. Head. I don't know. Not while he's shooting everyone. There's like gunshots going on everywhere. I don't think he would turn he around. I think he's programmed to, to understand like panicked human behavior. And Crouch. That, that comes into the algorithm maybe. I don't know. It's way too advanced you, for me to really go over. You can't calculate for individual behavior. Not with the greatest maths ever. Well, the T-800 did and it killed him. <laughs> but anyway, so it goes through killing... So there's cops popping out of all these doors left, right, centre trying to shoot the Terminator. He's been hit. Obviously, he's not doing anything to him. No, not And he's much. blasting the smithereens. How do you survive? Go. Have they got one of those giant smoke cannon things? What? No, you know, the they. it's like a grenade launcher, but it shoots smoke. Oh, um, not in this one, though. Uh, he uses that in T2. In two, yeah, but that's, no, that's where I got the one. idea from. Because oh, right, just okay. use that and shoot that into his face. But instead of a smoke canister... A grenade. <laughs> a grenade launcher then. Why don't you just say grenade launcher? I don't know. Wow, that was long. How about in the evidence locker? They must have a bazooka or a grenade or something explosive. I'm thinking the hot fuzz um, right, evidence yeah, locker. Mean. They've got like an aquatic mine. Maybe they use that. God. <laughs> Do you know what? Uh, if I was one of the police officers and I had seen... A load of my colleagues blast the smithereens after emptying all their guns into this guy and he's not taking any damage. Yeah, I would have then just, you know, I'd have been like, you would have run no, away. forget this, run. I would have organised them. I would have rallied the troops and gone, right, we concentrate fire on his face and I've then got, got everyone to shoot at his face. You know, if, it, if they concentrated fire on his eyes, they might have got through and blinded him. Yeah. A bit like what the Doctor Who in... I knew that was going Yeah, the 2005. They concentrate fire on the Daleks, don't they? And they managed to take out one Dalek. One eyepiece. But that's all you need, because there's only one Terminator, not a thousand Daleks. That is true. So if they concentrated fire on his face... Yeah, They could have right. taken they his They could have blinded off. him, yes. yeah. And in a little bit more fire, and yeah, maybe his head would have came off. You know, this is probably... That's the, well done. That's probably the best yeah. one we've ever come up with that could actually concentrate, work. Concentrate, yes. Teamwork. Okay, I completely agree with that. Right. Moving, Moving on. on. Right. Ooh. Oh my God, this is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are now have two deaths left. We have the death of... Why have I put... I've put his name the wrong way around. It's Kyle Reese. For some reason, I wrote Reese Kyle Reese here. Reese Kyle. Yeah, I don't know why. But anyway, they are in the factory fighting the Terminator. you got the Terminator's got a damaged leg at the moment, I, I think. So And so is Kyle Reese. He's, his leg's it's busted. Poorly leg. The Terminator tracks him down. They get up on this walkway. He's got a metal pipe. He tells Sarah Connor to run, so she goes down some steps and turns around and watches him. Oh, well, says, well done. Thanks for obeying orders, Sarah. Then he says, run again, and she completely ignores him and just stands there. He gets a metal pipe. He smacks the Terminator about three times on the head. Doesn't do anything. The Terminator then, and I quote, well, I don't quote, I quote myself, actually. Did you quote yourself? Bitch slaps him, backhands the hell out of him, and knocks him down to the top of these stairs, right? Yeah, okay. Now, the way you hit him on the face, that has been blooded. That is a Because he's mess. metal. He's right. a metal man. Exactly. That that it was gruesome. Reese then pulls out a homemade pipe bomb. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember this bit because they made a load in a hotel room. That's it, yep. Yeah. So he lights it up and him turns around and sticks it onto a terminator. He then back roly polies down the stairs, the terminator explodes. Mm-hmm. Sarah Connor goes over to Reese, turns him over, he's dead. Dum 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 It's not clear how he dies, whether there was part of him but the Terminator that flew off an explosion to hit him. Injury whether he broke his falling neck. Falling down, yeah. Rolled down but he rolled himself down the stairs. Or whether the ter- where the hit from the Terminator yeah, yeah. crushed something that uh, right. in a few seconds left. I don't know. Okay. Open with the pipe bomb. Why wait to get bitch slapped? Is he shooting the Terminator? Because by now he knows that the guns that he has available to him at this time period aren't good enough to beat it. He's not shooting it. Um, the Terminator's moving very slowly. Oh, no, got you, you said he's got a lead pipe, hasn't he? It's not a lead pipe. It's just it's a, metal a pipe. pipe. But okay. Don't use a pipe. G- guns don't work. Pipe's not going to work. Open with the pipe bomb. But Jam it in his face, in his Terminator mouth. Explode his head. Yeah, well, that's the point they needed to take out. But here's the thing, right? They get up on the walkway and they stand there and wait for the Terminator to get up on the walkway as well before he starts hitting it. They could have easily ran down and kept running. The Terminator's mm. leg is damaged at this point. It cannot run. 
they could have done a Home Alone style trap for it. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, I like that. Yes, yeah, no, they could have. Want to elaborate more on that? No, that was it. Okay. Or just, no, hide under it, set the pipe bomb underneath, and as he steps, just chuck it onto the uh, walkway, and then that blows him up, collapses the walkway, and then yeah. he's, like he is at the end of the film, just a torso crawling along. Just jump on him. Or then hit him with the pipe. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of ways. Cars were at Car Reese did not have to stand there and smack him in the pipe. No. Like, Sarah uh, Connors, no. Is she running away? Or is she standing, staying and helping? I don't know, but she's not no, doing anything. She either. did, she did they both. Could. She ran a little bit and then stood there and watched. Here's what they should have done. If they'd gone down the stairs, and as, like I said, as the time they got to the top of the stairs, throwing the pipe bomb, or maybe set it and put the pipe bomb down. On the stairs, And the time yeah. he gets there, Boom! Voila. I don't know, but that's it. we don't actually know how Reese dies, what kills him in the end, where yeah. he breaks his neck Avoid when he rolls down Avoid being hit by the metal man. Yeah, do not get bitch slapped by the Terminator because... It's probably wow. not beneficial to your No, head. it looks so painful. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Right, that brings us on to the last death of the Terminator. The Terminator who, I'm, who I'm fully behind at this point because <laughs> the two human leads are... Wow, they are, they are, they are not good. Terrible people. They, they cause the death of... Their friends, Ginger and and Matt and the c- people in the clubs. I know. Oh man! And all those police officers. Exactly. Jeez. Brutal. Uh, they are not cool. W- the death of the T eight hundred. Um. So after Reese hits with a pipe bomb, it's lost its legs, and it's only got one arm, but it's still functioning. It's still coming after Sarah. Still pretty scary. Now her legs, she twists her ankle. Yeah. Okay. Or something. So she's crawling as well. Don't get why she can't hop, but whatever. Okay. So she's crawling. <laughs> She calls through a um, machine. It's like a big compression machine. Um, you've seen it, I'm sure. Yeah, haven't yeah, you? I'm sure yeah, yeah. everybody that's listened to this has hopefully seen it. Mm. Big compression machine. She crawls through. Uh, the Terminator then comes through, reaches a hand out, trying to grab her. She finds a button for her and she goes, You're terminated, fucker. <laughs> and then she pushes the button and then it, um, it's closed down, comes down slowly, crushes the Terminator. Oh, and, then his little, his and then the little light out. in his eye goes out and it's all all very sad. And that's it. And that's game over. Okay. The Terminator must know what this machine does because this machine is like its grandfather or whatever. You know, funny enough, I read a comment similar to that in which when the Terminator walks in, it looks at some of the sh- machines move around and somebody... One goes daddy or <laughs> something. <laughs> and somebody wrote, somebody wrote, well, the Terminator's checking out his ancestors. <laughs> but yeah, it must have... If it knows people anatomy it must know robot anatomy a machiney anatomy so but it might be not, it smarter might not have about where you're crawling through diagrams or again program the terminator to obey health and safety and it would know not to mess about near high-powered machinery yeah hydraulic uh, and maybe crawl into the shadows and be stealthy Oh, it can't be too stealthy because I imagine it pulling itself would leave a metal make a lot of noise. sound. Yeah. It's scraping against the floor. So there's maybe get on a mattress to stifle the screechy, crawly sound. Really? Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to find uh, a mattress no. in a factory. Uh, yeah, don't uh, crawl under it. I know something uh, that could As soon as. I think as soon as the Terminator gets a hold of. Sarah, even with the one hand, he could crush an arm or a, That's or a what leg I was gonna or say something. To you, because the Terminator does get a hand on her as she pushes the button. She just grabbed, and it came down quite slowly. Fuck it, grab and pull her in with you. The Terminator doesn't care if it dies so long as it completes yeah. its objective. Grab her and or pull her in with you. Or just grab hold of her, and then don't let go, and then she's stuck in the factory. Or stuck, like, get a Terminator death grip on her, and then... Yeah, she's stuck with the Terminator on her arm forever. Yeah, except that it probably would have been cut off by the what, appropriate authorities. No, the Terminator arm oh. would have been removed by the appropriate authorities. Or, hopefully, the factory is closed for a bank holiday. She's stuck in the factory and she starves to death <laughs> by the One time... One day? <laughs> living out well, no, a bank, bank holiday. holiday. So, this, I imagine this all happens on a Friday. <laughs> so, she's stuck there on the Saturday... The Sunday and the Monday, and then she probably three dehydrates. days is not enough to starve to death. No, but she's dehydrated because she's running around. Okay, I imagine yeah, she's not true. had much to eat while she's been on the run or whatever. So yeah, <laughs> right. <Okay. laughs> it has to be on a bank holiday, but, but it might. But work. we're talking about the Terminator having to survive this bit, not killing Sarah Connor, just surviving. 
How oh, strong no, yeah. do you reckon it is? Do you reckon it could have turned over and pushed it up with his one hand? Um, the T-800 yeah. in Terminator 3 does something similar to this when he's underneath a I'll large door, door open. a large nuclear-proof door. Uh, how many arms has he got in that Two. one? Two. Is he using both? Yes. I know that. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember the uh, scene exactly. Okay. Uh, we'll say no, because okay. it's been battered and bruised. Yeah, okay, it's a weakened version. Don't crawl through the machine. Maybe if you just terminated her early, like you meant to get yeah. on with it, you want to fuck this up so oh. much. Come back with a better plan. Or when Carberry's puts the bomb in you, grab the, take the bomb out of you and throw it back at them. Yeah. Don't um. you, does, he, does he just look at it? Like yeah, well, he puts it in and it blows up about two seconds later. Oh. Surely he would have enough time, but I don't think the start-stop animation for him was fast Breath enough to do it. <laughs> CG Terminator would have been faster. <laughs> oh, yeah, he would have been. <laughs> oh, dear. And right. That's it. Yeah. That's There are more deaths in that film, like I said. There's an, uh, how many more? There would have been another 21 deaths in that film to go over, but whatever. Too We've long. not got the time. You've not got the patience. We're all busy people. We have lives to live. We've covered and so what? do you. Go live them to the fullest. Stop listening right now. Go ahead and enjoy the warm well, well, summer well, listen, air. Listen to the last few minutes. Oh, yeah. You've well, man, already wasted... A- However many minutes this has been on for. Comments. Did you like the Terminator episode? Do you want us to do the other Terminator films? Not Salvation, though. We are doing Genesis, whether you like it or not, so deal with it. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> Fine, we won't do it. <laughs> right. But yeah, if you want to hear more, or suggestions for shows, or whatever, contact us. Emails, electronic letters at weekersurvive that at gmail.com, or tweet, we could survive. Hashtag. Hashtag, yeah. Hashtag what? Hashtag. Save the bean. Save the bean. Sean I Bean. Sh- I searched for that hashtag to see what other people wrote about. There's one other thing about Sean Bean than other stuff was about, like, plants and farmers. Okay, right. Right, okay. Save the baked bean? I don't oh, know. Okay, right. Yeah, whatever. So, hashtag save the bean. <laughs> Chris, end your well-constructed show with a smooth, well-constructed outro. Oh, that's too much pressure. Don't say that. Okay. Uh, End it with your usual charisma. Still too much pressure, but I'm going to wing it anyway. Thank you for listening to We Could Survive That, your weekly survivor guide to the movies. Uh, We will see you next week. Until then, keep on surviving. Goodbye. Well done.